I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I was just admiring your gardens. Thank you. Do you take care of it all by yourself? Oh, as much as I can. You know, I used to be a gardener. You know the big McPherson house over on Hilldale? Why, I don't think so. I might have known once, but I tend to forget things nowadays. I worked there. That was a while ago. Mrs. Burns, are you all right? Oh, yes, I'm fine. This gentleman has been admiring my garden. Oh, that's nice. Well, your tea's ready, Mrs. Burns. Say goodbye to the gentleman. Goodbye. Goodbye. Darling, remember Where are you from, Pete? Right here in Sydney. Really? But I've been away for a long, long time. I never left Nova Scotia. Never had any reason to. Except one time, I think, when I was much younger, I... But I can't remember. Do you know? Did, did you just tell me that you were from Sydney? Yes, originally. But I left a long time ago. Why? It was simple, really. I was a miner's son. I fell in love with a rich man's daughter. Then she got pregnant. And then she ran away. She did. Yes, to Boston. Boston? That's where I went, but I didn't want to go. I, I... They sent me there because of... They sent me away. I'm Pete. Pete McGraw. Pete. We knew each other a long time ago. Pete. Oh, Annie, Annie, let's find somewhere quiet. Come, come, come. Come. You weren't here when I came back? No. I couldn't do it, Pete. Not to our baby. Uh, Yours and mine. Uh, I know. We have a son. A beautiful baby boy. And we're all going to be so happy together. So happy. Betty Jo, I'm friends with Matt. He, he says he's my son, but he's not my son. I don't have a son. <laughs> the, other one, the other one reminds me of somebody. 